Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Okay, let's see Aquarius. All right, we have the High Priestess of Fire for your overall energy. All right, ooh, so there's a lot of passion here, a lot of fiery energy. So we're going to get into this and see. Some of you might even be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but definitely feeling like there is a connection here where there is a lot of passion. And feeling like it's giving me this essence of a little bit of impatience or like wanting wanting to move things forward. It's like a lot of go energy, but at the same time, it's coming in with a little bit of frustration. So let's see, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> For the first half of October. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so for the recent past, we have the Fool. All right. For your energy, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. So mm, it feels like, yeah, there's a little bit of nostalgia here on your end. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're trying to find your own stability, possibly your own sense of self-worth. Um, really finding what it is that you feel like you deserve. But at the same time, there is um, some nostalgia for a connection from the past. I feel like in the past, though, something happened here that felt kind of impulsive. There was something that was kind of unexpected, maybe. We'll see. We might clarify that. For them, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so two knights here. So there is some movement. There is a movement here. Um, this is a person who, if you're not in communication, there's a very, very strong desire for communication. All right, I feel like this is somebody who is kind of coming up with a plan or working very gradually and strategically towards making some kind of, kind of an offer for you. Again, we're gonna see more when we clarify. Um, what is coming up for you? We have the King of Cups, and for them, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, a lot of court cards here. I mean, I actually feel like this is love um, that you're moving towards. You might not even realize it, but I feel like the more that you are working on yourself here with this Nine of Pentacles, the more independent you are. Um, and possibly even independent from this connection, like not attached, um, just kind of doing your own thing. I feel like the more that that is bringing you towards love. We actually have the same card for, for Libra in the exact same position, but I was getting it a lot differently for Libra. For them, it was um, coming into a place of emotional stability within themselves, whereas for you, I'm getting that this is someone else. This is someone else coming in. It's like love just coming in to your life. It's like you're attracting that. All right, and for them with this Queen of Pentacles, it's interesting because I feel like this person is also working on themselves, also um, taking care of, of their whatever their own needs are, whatever it is that needed to be taken care of. So again, we're gonna find out more when we clarify the potential outcome here. We have the Ace of Swords. All right, so that is some action, that is truth, that is clarity. Um, it's actually looking pretty good for you, Aquarius. Let's, let's get into this. All right, so let's clarify that High Priestess of Fire. All right, we have the World, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. 
Okay, so this is a situation where, yeah, I feel like things, things were possibly challenging, all right? There was a challenge here. And it could be that there still is a challenge. So yes, even though things appear um, to be very smooth almost, like on the surface, there's something going on underneath. Um, again, it's like very fiery energy, kind of like what is going to happen here? I feel like there's a little bit of confusion. That could be where the frustration is coming in that I'm picking up on. Um, I do, if this is you, I do feel like you're doing a pretty good job at managing it. Um, but I, I'm getting that there's like a cycle that is being completed here. I feel like you, you might not even be aware of this, but I feel like something that has been very challenging in this situation um, is kind of coming to an end. This could be involving um, some confusion that has been happening here. Let me clarify this fool in the recent past. Make some more sense out of this. All right, let's see the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, and the King of Cups showing up again. Okay, so there are a lot of emotions here. I feel like this is a situation where there were a lot of emotions um, and love between the two of you. Something happened that caused that caused some kind of a shift. And I do feel like it was very unexpected. And I feel like that is kind of um, what may have thrown things off of balance. Almost like somebody somebody decided to move in a, in a new kind of a direction and that brought about a shift. So I don't know what that new direction is but somebody did something that was a little bit unexpected here. Kind of like, okay, you know what? We've been going this way and now all of a sudden, like I'm just gonna start going a different way. And I feel like that kind of like shook things up and it's like, okay, what's going on here? Almost like this person made this decision I don't know if this was you or them, but this person made this decision, possibly without the other person knowing about it. So I feel like this is what may have stirred up some confusion. And it's like, there's still this passion though between the two of you. I feel like something just hasn't been, like whatever that issue is, whatever that situation is, it hasn't been resolved. And so it's like, you're, you're both kind of feeling it, like bubbling within. That's that high priestess of fire. Um, but you both also feel how the other is feeling about, about the other. Let's see the Six of Cups for you. All right, we have Temperance and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so even though you're missing this person, there's a lot of nostalgia. I feel like you're being really, really patient. I feel like you're really, again, trying to find balance within yourself. You're like, it's like you're saying, okay, you know what? The situation is what it is. Yeah, something unexpected happened. Um, but, you know, there's apparently not much I can do about it. All I can do is just work with this energy that is being presented to me and the situation that I find myself in. So yeah, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job of that. Let me also clarify that Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Aquarius, you're finding this like balance between um, using your logic as well as your heart. Like you're not completely closing closing the door to love, possibly even to this particular connection for some of you, for others of you, it could just be love in general, um, even if you have been hurt. And although I'm not seeing a lot of pain really showing up here, we do have that nine of wands, which does tell me that there is a little bit of pain here. There has been, somebody has been 
wounded. But I feel like that's kind of like, that's part of what is closing out for you, like getting over that, getting over the pain at least. Yeah, so I, I feel like you're, you're also finding this balance when it comes to, okay, you know, how much, how many boundaries do I have, but not completely closing the door to love. So it's like you're demanding respect, but you're also still in a loving type of an energy here. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see this Knight of Cups. I'm also getting, you, you're very in touch with your intuition at the moment as well. All right, so for the Knight, for the Knight of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Cups again. Oh, okay. So this person is feeling, um, uh, feeling the pain. I feel more than more so than you. By the way, we also have um, Sagittarius showing up um, for you here. So for some of you, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This person is um, definitely going through a lot of pain. They're feeling like maybe this is this is over. Or they're feeling doomed. They're feeling defeated, but still wanting to come in. Still wanting to find a way to. I'm getting communicate with you, although some of you could be in communication. So it could just be, you know, finding a way to make up with you. All right, with this Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. All right, we have the King of Wands, the Moon, that's Pisces energy showing up the Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords. There's a lot that this person is going through at the moment. Um, I do feel like they're taking charge. I do feel like for the most part, all right, because we do have the Knight of Pentacles here, and then the first card out was the King of Wands. So they're trying to overcome whatever these obstacles are, but I feel like there actually are quite a few obstacles, um, especially when it comes to them not really knowing what it is that might be happening with you. So I'm actually getting that for a lot of you, you are in a no contact or in a some kind of a separation. Um, if you are in contact again, I feel like maybe you are being um, a little bit secretive possibly. But this person is also being secretive when it comes to what it is that they are thinking about, about doing. This person is intending to, to move towards you and to overcome whatever these obstacles are. There could be um, some fears involved here. I feel like the fear is that this is over. There's a fear on their end that this might be over, even if they even if they can pick up on your vibe and on that fiery type of an energy um, that might be there. They're also they're not a hundred percent sure. There's a lot of doubts. But they're wanting to move things forward in a way where it's going to um, move this connection out of conflict. Let's see that King of Cups um, for what is coming up for you. All right, and we have the Magician and we have the Four of Cups. All right, that's interesting. See, it's like you're manifesting love. You're bringing, you're bringing that in, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm even getting that this, there's also some indifference to it. And actually, that is what is bringing it in. It's like, yeah, you know, you're, like I said, it's like, 
you're working so much on yourself, I don't even know if you realize it, but you've found this place of balance within yourself and so it's like because you're so indifferent to it you're able to manifest it because you don't have this attachment so there's no like obsessive or attached energy um, in your in your vibe so it's like you're manifesting but without even realizing it Because you're like, yeah, you know, I mean, I do, I, I do have this nostalgia, like this is what I would want, but I'm okay on my own as well. I'm not attached to that. I have balance. I have patience. I'm like, you know, kind of indifferent. Whatever happens, happens. And that is the energy that is actually bringing this in. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles for this person. this we have the ten of cups the ace of swords showing up again which is also in the potential outcome here and the queen of wands all right so more um fire energy here we have the king of wands the page of wands the queen of wands all showing up for your person so yeah i do feel like a lot of you are dealing with fire sign it doesn't have to be all right we definitely also have water signs and earth signs showing up so it could be it really could be any sign um <clears throat> Wow, this person is definitely, whatever it is that they needed to overcome, all right, whatever these obstacles are, when it comes to their own self, they're doing a pretty good job of that, all right, as I said before. Yes, they are feeling the pain, all of that, but they're doing a really good job at moving themselves towards this happiness and going after what it is that they want, right, taking action to go after their queen of wands, right, the person that they feel this passion for. So let's see that Ace of Swords for the potential outcome because that's the action. Ooh, okay. All right, so it's a little bit of a twist here um, because this is actually very, a very, very positive card, but we just got two negative cards. We got the Eight of Swords and we got the Devil. So... This person is taking action, all right? There is action that is being taken here. I do feel like this action is based on truth. So I feel like what's actually happening here is when this person comes forward, and I do feel like they are, all right? They're already in that energy with having two knights in their current energy. When they do take that final action and come forward, I feel like everything is going to come out in the open when it comes to their fears, when it comes to what it is that has kept them stuck, when it comes to what is keeping them back overall, or what even, you know, if they're are the ones who were um, who made some kind of a decision here in the past um, that was unexpected all of that is going to come up all right even this devil's energy like whatever it is that was toxic whatever it is that was um, negative or that influenced this connection in a negative way all of those things are actually coming up to the surface here with that ace of swords um, I also get that for some of you, this could even be this energy in the past with the unexpected um, movement could have even been you walking away from this um, situation, even though it doesn't come in as walking away. It's more of like an action in a new path. And, and, and for those of you that it was you who took a new path, it's coming in as you being like, you know what, I'm taking this path like you can either follow me or not. And then possibly this person did not. All right. Um, so something along those lines, but some kind of a decision here for a new path where that I feel kind of may have thrown this connection out of balance. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for this potential outcome. So Aquarius, that is very interesting. So let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message here for you. Please give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, and we have the North Node. 
step out of your comfort zone. I actually feel like that's what the both of you are doing. I feel like, you know, this is actually a lesson that you learned in the past. I feel like you have walked out of out of your comfort zone and this is why you're feeling so good right now and you are able to feel independent, self-reliant, not attached. And I feel like it's your person's turn now to step out of their comfort zone and kind of move forward with this with this offer, overcome those fears. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.